welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzers. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Each bronzer retails for $15.99 at Ulta Beauty and it comes in eight different shades. I do want to read a little bit about these bronzers on Ulta's website. Demand more from long wear with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear soft matte bronzer. This natural looking powder bronzer comes in a diverse range of shades and gives buildable coverage in a soft matte finish. Here's a closer look on what the compact looks like. It says L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear bronzer soft matte finish. It also states that it's waterproof, which is interesting. You get 0.31 ounces or nine grams of product. And then down at the bottom, you have the shade name. This shade is 400 tan. I also purchased the shade in 350 medium as well. The compact is the exact same as their powder foundation. And then here's what the back looks like. On the back, it has the list of ingredients. It states it was made in the USA and it has a 24 month shelf life. Here's what the shade in 400 tan looks like and then right next to it we have the shade in 350 medium. 350 medium looks a little bit too light and 400 tan looks a little bit too dark. I will be applying both shades on my face. Let's start off with the first shade in 350. Here's what the bottom looks like. It doesn't come with a sponge but it does come with a mirror. Let's see what 350 medium swatch is like. It does feel very soft in the pan. Here's what 350 medium looks like. You can barely see it on the back of my hand. Let's see what the shade in 400 tan looks like. Again, very soft in the pan. Here's 400 tan. Here's what 400 tan looks like. Let me blend this out a bit. Here we have the shade in 400 tan and then 350 medium. 400 tan looks a little bit orange, but let's see what it looks like applied on the face. I wanna see what the shade in 350 medium looks like. I already applied my base products. I have foundation and concealer, and I set everything with setting powder. So let's see what the bronzer looks like. Just using a fluffy bronzer brush. There is a little bit of hiccup, if you don't mind the fallout. I'm going in very lightly, and I'm getting all this fallout. Let's see what this looks like. Here's what the shade in 350 medium looks like. I'm surprised it actually showed up on my skin. It's really beautiful. It looks very natural. I'm gonna be using my same brush. I'm not gonna go in with any additional product and I'm gonna apply some to my jawline. I'm also gonna be taking some to my forehead. Here's what the shade in 350 medium looks like. It's really beautiful. I'm looking at this shade up close in the mirror. It's looking a little bit gray on me. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on camera, but in person, it's looking a little bit cool tone gray. I'm not sure why. I will be doing a wear test and I will leave below in the description box how it does wear throughout my day. Now let's see what the shade in 400 tan looks like. Taking a clean brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in 400 tan. And again, I'm getting a little bit of fallout. Let's see what the shade in 400 tan looks like. Here we have the shade in 400 tan. 350 medium looks a little bit gray. 400 tan looks more neutral. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my brush. I'm gonna put some on my jawline. Taking whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna drag it up towards my forehead. Here's what both of the bronzer shades look like side by side. Again, we have the shade in 400 tan, which I like the best. And then here's the shade in 350 medium. Let me know in the comments down below which bronzer shade works best on me. 350 medium or 400 tan. 
I'm going to be setting my entire face with my Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder using a large fluffy brush. I'm just going to press everything together. Here's what the bronzers look like after I set it with setting powder. For lips, I'm going to apply the shade in Topaz from Maybelline. This is their Lifter Gloss. My final thoughts on the L'Oreal bronzers is that I really do like them. A little bit of product goes a very long way. For $15.99, I definitely think it's worth the price. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan when you are using a brush, so definitely be mindful of that. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen these new bronzers from L'Oreal. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.